Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to not run uh, malware accidentally by clicking on the wrong PDFs and things of that nature because we know PDFs are becoming harder and harder to spot malware in them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. How are PDFs infected? PDF is a powerful document which contains static elements, which is images and text, dynamic elements like forms, and embedded signatures. These elements are necessary to make document visually appealing and consistent. There is a darker side to it, however. Uh, you know, there, there is mention of capabilities that have been misused to inject malicious scripts. JavaScripts are mostly used for infesting malware on victims' computer. PDF files include the ability to execute code on your device. And that's where the real danger lies. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Let's go into JavaScript. Now, JavaScripts are used in the website coding for, to control browser appearance and functionality. In the past, it has been used to exploit multiple vulnerabilities in Adobe as well as many other PDF readers. In regards to system commands, launch action in PDF can open command window and execute commands to initiate malware. Most of the commands have now been disabled by Adobe, but they might be open in other readers or earlier versions. This is where hidden objects you know, come into play. PDFs can have embedded and encrypted objects which prevents being analyzed by antivirus scanners. These objects are executed when file is opened by the user. In regards to multimedia control, when we say PDF can be, you know, have embedded objects, it could be a QuickTime media or flash file. An attacker can exploit vulnerability in media players. Now, how to check PDF viruses, right? If you ever receive any PDF from any untrusted sources, it is recommended to scan the file before opening it. Email providers like Gmail have inbuilt or built in malware scanner for file attachments. They implement the technology of VirusTotal so you can be assured. And the next thing is how to protect from PDF viruses. Number one, disable JavaScript on your PDF reader. If you're using Adobe Reader, then open Adobe Reader and go to edit and then preferences or simply press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard. From the sidebar, select JavaScript and uncheck Enable Acrobat JavaScript. Number two, do not allow PDF Reader to execute non-PDF files using external application. Number three, disable PDF Reader from startup programs of Windows. Number four, keep macros disabled. Malicious files might persuade you to enable, but you should not unless very necessary. Next, do not download or open file attachments sent by unknown email senders or a sender. Number six, ensure Windows OS, PDF reader program, and antivirus is up to date. Number seven, back up regularly and keep it encrypted. So. I want to know your opinion in the comment section below when it comes to malware implanted in PDFs, what kind of malware or cyber attack is the most dangerous or the most easiest to execute? Is it a, is it a uh, you know, in regards to ransomware? Is it in regards to SQL? You, you name it. Just let me know in the comment section below. Also, is there anything in regards to protecting our PDFs that I have that you feel that I have missed or you feel that you have better ideas, please also let me know in the comment section below. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell. Also share this content. Thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers last year. Now we, the goal is, you know, 10,000 this year. So please help me reach that. Hit that like button, destroy that like button, hit that subscribe button, destroy that subscribe button. So, uh, without further ado, stay safe and see you in the next video.